I'm gonna fangirl out here for a minute. I'm really, really excited to have you on camera and I'm really excited to interview you because I think that in terms of fashion journalism, you are one of the leading people writing online right now. So from designer collaborations to mobile apps, Instagram to retail business, you are pretty much a Jill of all trades when it comes to your coverage of fashion. How did you get your start in editorial? So I, I had a couple of internships when I was in college. I went to school in New York. Um, I interned at a really small PR company um, that had just started and represented some emerging fashion brands. And I learned a lot about sort of how fashion brands work, um, how the relationships between PRs and editors works. Um, I realized pretty quickly that I was my personality is not really suited for PR, um, and I always loved writing, and I, I, was, I guess I was pretty good at it. Um, so I got an internship at Fashionista um, while I was in college, and when I graduated, they hired me. I was the, their first third employee, so there were three of us back then. Um, and it was sort of, um, I guess I kind of became a Jill of all trades out of necessity because we were such a small team, and you sort of just had to cover whatever came up when it came up. Um, but I really liked that. I didn't feel like there was necessarily one area in which I was an expert. Um, so I, I loved like just doing a lot of research and learning about different things. Um, and yeah, so I think tech was something I was really interested in, the intersection between fashion and tech, because it was something that not a lot of people were talking about then, um, at least not in the fashion press, I guess. And it was just, there was just so much happening at that time and so much change, um, and so I thought it was so interesting to sort of cover that. What makes you passionate about the fashion industry? I mean, why do you tell the stories that you do? I think, um, I think what I'm most passionate about is sort of the people that are starting out in the industry. I love covering emerging designers. I love talking to young stylists or young costume designers or um, just things that are new and maybe not don't have as much history to them yet and that their stories haven't been told yet. I think that's something I'm really passionate about and I think like fashion and tech is another example of that because it was something that was still companies still being launched and startups and um, so yeah I think just kind of trying to find those things that hadn't been covered much yet and telling those stories is something that I really love doing. Is there anything right now that excites you about the, the, the future of fashion and technology and this kind of convergence that we're seeing between the two? Um, yeah, it's a, there are a lot of things, I guess. I think um, it's so, it's a little, at least for me, like I'm, I, again, I'm not an expert on it. That's why, that's why I interviewed you <laughs> um, and interview people like the, you all the time. Um, but I think it's interesting how it has, I think technology has the potential to make um, a lot of things about fashion a lot more efficient. I think um, there are a lot of, I guess, processes in the industry that aren't very efficient um, and that I think a lot of but businesses are reluctant to sort of embrace technology, but I think they're starting to change that. And I think from everything from the way, you know, samples are sent out to press to how designers manufacture their clothes to how people shop all of that I think is going to become a lot more efficient so I think that's something that I'm excited about seeing how that happens. I would agree with you on that technology is definitely bringing some really amazing efficiencies across the supply chain to brands. We're seeing this you know because we're in fashion we are driven by imagery and you know a lot of us as writers you and myself not excluded we're starting to write a lot about the rise of the visual web so what social networks or mobile apps or platforms have you really excited right now whether they're tried and true or they're just coming into uh, play yeah I mean I think obviously Instagram is so huge and I don't know anyone who's not on Instagram and not kind of obsessed with checking it all day <laughs> um, and it's definitely something that like I, I often will see a product on Instagram that like looks great and I instantly want to buy it like I recently bought a pair of shoes because I just saw them looking really great on Instagram so I feel like um, I guess that's why there are these new companies coming along that are trying to make Instagram shoppable and like spring for example um, is basically Instagram but shoppable um, and I think that's I think it's changing how people shop I think it's like it's sort of like the new like flipping through a fashion editorial and seeing something you like and like folding the page over or tearing it out and like now like I might like screen grab an Instagram of a product I like and then find out where I can buy it afterwards or something like that exactly and I 
I would agree with you on spring. That is yeah. probably one of my newest addictions, and that team is amazing, and the fact that you can just like tap, tap, and it's coming to you, flawless. <laughs> cool. Well, Donnie, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today as kind of one of the leading voices in the fashion and retail business space. And um, I look forward to continuing to read your coverage of technology on fashionista.com. Thank you so much. I'm so flattered that by everything you said. So thank you.